Hello again out there in the world of investing. Hey, today let's talk about three key principles. And I think that these are, if not the most important, they are amongst the most important principles to apply whenever you desire to obtain wealth. Okay? Some people are okay just working hand to mouth. In other words, they work. And what they work, they spend on their survival, right? They pay their mortgages, their food, etc. I want to explain a little bit today about some things that I've found, not just being in the speaker circuit and hanging around with people and listening to Robert Kiyosaki, Donald Trump, and others of that nature. Um, Russ Whitney in his day, spent a lot of time with him. Um, I want to explain a little bit now what I applied in my life and what I saw work to help me achieve the success that I've achieved uh, during my life. And it hasn't always been a win. I've had my share of losses too. And um, that's why I can really tell you what I what I found that worked and what didn't work. So let me give you three principles that I feel will help you in building wealth, especially now in a down economy. So I'm going to try to keep these videos a little bit brief. I'm trying to, trying to get down to like 10 minute videos for you guys. And sometimes I just... There's so much I want to share with you that uh, is difficult. And, and I'm still not back in the office. We're at a point now, we're in a transition period where we've got the office down in South America. Excuse the cars behind me here. It's that time of day. Unfortunately, I'm in the mountains, but we have a lot of, a lot of traffic that comes up this way down from the Bay Area. And um, it kind of causes a lot of noise. Anyway, it's beautiful up here, and I love it up here. And this is our project we're working on. We've been working on this for a few months now. To, to sell this off or refinance it actually and then buy in a state that is that's pro crypto and as well as other freedoms that allow us to move forward in this free market economy. What I want to talk to you today is, is this, three areas, three principles. One, one, pay off your debt. We're going into a down market. Right now is not the time to acquire debt. And it's funny because down in Latin America, they're offering debt to everybody. The banks know what's coming. They see it. But they're offering free credit cards. I mean, they're just contacting my, my partners and saying, you have these thousands of dollars already pre-approved in your credit card. Just come pick up your card and tell us how you want us to get it to you. The other is they contacted um, the others, even my wife, and said, hey, you have a line of credit for so much. Just tell us, just fill us out online and we'll deposit in your bank account. And she did. Just to try it out. Now, we're going to pay that back. Put it back. But I want to, I wanted to see what, why are they doing this? Well, that's a whole nother story. I got other videos on that. Actually, on a different channel. We, we opened up a couple different channels because here I'm just trying to try, try to stay with, with our investment ideas in crypto and in typical investments, right? We need to broaden that. We can't just all be in crypto, especially since we're so early on. I believe crypto is the future for us, but I believe there's traditional ways too that we can use or investments that will also help us get there and we can make money with that and put that money also into crypto and let it set and gain that store of value. Now, pay your debt. Look, there are opportunities. In the United States of America just released, released a report recently. There is $16 trillion of personal debt per on average per American in the United States of America now. That is a record high. That's scary high. And they're, we're already indebted now to the financial institutions. And that's not good. Because that can affect our homes that we live in. And it causes us a lot of uneasiness, worry, ulcers, stress, heart attacks, you name it. It can bring down on our systems. And you know, I had a heart attack and my doctor said it was stress related. Because I was under a lot as a CEO. Now, pay your debt. Unless your debt is going to actually help you. In your investment, in other words, it's going to help you make money. And I'm not saying I'm going to take a loan to invest in something that I don't control, right? I'm talking about your debt. You're going to go maybe put it against a a, a remodel job, or actually in a fixer upper home you're going to buy, or a piece of real estate where you're going to subdivide it. Something where you can force the value in it, and you know that you're at least going to force the value in that, and you have enough money to pay off your debt, right? Or if you're getting in with something, a different project, which I would not recommend you go into debt buying crypto devices like these, these plug and play devices. They're highly, highly volatile. And tomorrow 
they could be gone. And because they're blockchain, there's really no recourse because the community doesn't police itself, which unfortunately is going to bring the government in to do that for us. And that's going to eliminate many opportunities of uh, potential good projects coming out of the ground because they're going to have to qualify so much with SEC or other regulatory arms, right? So pay your debt. Be wise in where you're going to use debt, especially now it's getting more expensive. Now I got another video on how you can acquire debt or acquire partners or acquire investors. That's another video. You can check that out too. What's number two? Well, number two would be to pay your debts, don't spend your long-term investments. Uh, uh, a guy I know who I respect a lot, just saw a video on yesterday saying that he had to sell some of his crypto in order to pay debts at home. And, and I know that. I understand. That, I feel that. I had to do it too. And he didn't sell it all. He has some put away. But what I recommend to him and all of you is don't touch that. I don't care how bad things get. You'll find a way. It's just we always look for the easiest way, right? The easiest way is, well, I got this savings. I got my emergency fund. And once we tap our emergency fund, I got my long-term savings for my wealth. So if we keep tapping into it, because there's always going to be emergencies, that's going to suck that emergency fund away. You got to put that back. You got to work real hard to put that back because the next fund you're going to touch is going to be your long-term investments. That's where your wealth is going to be built, is in that long-term investments. So don't depreciate that long-term investment by acquiring debt. Pay off the debt. Get off that interest. Let that long-term investment earn, whether it's passive income or it's also going to be a forced income or just something that's going to accrue in value over time. That's where you build wealth. And that's where most wealthy people have built their wealth. So then we come to number three. What would I say that number three really is? If First of all, we're, we are going to pay off our debt and we are going to then now um, not touch our long-term wealth and try not to touch your emergency fund, even in emergencies. Try to find other ways to not touch that emergency fund. Because when you do, it's gone. Okay? So, number three would be this. Become self-reliant. Yeah? I know that sounds like old-fashioned, right? Become self-reliant. And that means becoming your own boss. You want to build wealth? It's going to be very hard doing it working for somebody else. Now, there are people out there who make really good jobs. Maybe attorneys working for a firm. And that's fine. But what if you don't come in tomorrow and you don't have that job anymore? Then what? So if you take your money, I guess, while you're working for somebody else and you buy rental properties that have passive income, for example, right? All right. But what am I doing? I'm actually becoming my own boss. Gradually over time, I can have enough passive income coming in that I just do my job as an attorney, for example, because I just enjoy doing it. And that's just at all extra gravy or the other one's extra gravy. You can take that investment and roll it into it long-term investments where you're gonna gain value over time, right? So become your own boss, become self-sufficient. If you lose your job tomorrow, or the economy collapses tomorrow, you have something else to go back to. And that even includes putting food storage in your home. Build up one year supply of food storage, food that you know doesn't go bad quick. You can buy Mountain House, or some of these others are selling now that last 25 years. You can buy those, they're a little bit expensive, maybe 25, 35 bucks a can, but I buy these like, I was buying like every month. I'm gonna go back to that now, and I put that as part of my expenses every month, and I put 10% away every month as well into something that's gonna accrue value, and I grow a little bit my emergency fund. So in that 10%, I'll take maybe 5% and put into an investment that's gonna accrue a value, and then 5% into my emergency fund that we talked about. So the number three is become your own boss. Look for ways every month to pinch yourself and put that money into something that's going to grow in value over time or create a passive income stream that is traditional. Now, if I want to go buy a hotspot from Helium or, or some sort of a, a device in crypto, that's high risk. We just saw what happened with Planet Watch. A lot of people got burnt on that as well as other projects. You know, there's high risk out there in that because you don't have control over that. Put it in something where you have a great, uh, greater control over. Okay. Then it can even be in yourself and going to work for yourself, you know, and creating your own business, those kind of things. So that would be my three areas to help you build wealth and be disciplined in that. You got to be disciplined in that. It takes character and integrity to be disciplined in those areas. DeFi IoT. If you like the video, do us a favor. 
the first thing to build wealth is you need to hit that like button and subscribe. Turn the gray red. We need that subscribed. Help us build our channel. We're trying to get out there and prepare you for what's coming and how you can take advantage of what's coming and not be on the back end where you're hiding your head in the sand wondering, what am I going to do tomorrow? DeFi IoT. We hope you enjoyed this segment of our video with DeFi IoT. Remember, we're not professional advisors. We do this as a business, as a hobby, and we study, we experiment, and we want to share it with you. If you can get some benefit from this, great. What we do is we go out, we purchase with our own money, and we experiment to see what the true results are. We want you to be able to share in our experiences so you don't have to lose like we have. If you can win where we've won, fantastic. Remember to do your own research and your own homework. It's very important before you make any decisions. We will see you in our next video.